cooking engages all of your senses at the same time. And then, you know, so do, in my case, women. I think that's the reason why that love and cooking are sort of on the same railroad tracks is that, you know, they both engage all of your senses. I mean, you hear the sizzle, you taste, you smell, you see, you feel. When you uh, are kneading your dough, you don't want to just slap it out. Anger doesn't have a place in it so much. I mean, you have to be firm with it, but, you know, what the guy said on TV was that, you know, you kind of need to treat it like a woman. You respond to the dough. You work with it. It needs a little more water, you give it a little more water. It needs a little more flour, you give it a little more flour, and you just sort of work with it until it becomes what it is that it needs to be. To continually explore the flavors out there with someone else that you appreciate, well, that's a powerful feeling. It's like having a, a conversation with someone else about something you never talked about before. It's to taste something new for the first time together. When you meet someone new, it's like an improvisation. They're always going to bring something new into the mix, and ideally, something that might change your opinion about something, or change your point of view, or your perception. So that's an ideal relationship to me in the sense that you're never standing still, you're always moving forward. sort of looking for what's next and evolving and becoming more than you were yesterday. You can always be introducing new little tweaks. You can always be doing new little things and constantly sort of changing what you're doing and learning and being interactive with what you're putting into yourself. start off a relationship thinking it's going to end. I always start off like thinking, you know, this could be the girl I'm going to marry. The end of a relationship is foretold in the differences you may have with that person. And 
the fissures between. Where can you grow together and where do you grow apart? It's always a long and, you know, twisted journey towards, you know, sort of the downward spiral. It's very, very rare that it's just cut and dry and then you just don't have to deal with it anymore. It's always sort of these, you know, it's always like grinds at the bottom of the coffee cup, man, you know, and you're always sort of like tasting the bitter.